Prince Robbie, this close. That's it, his main sanctuary. Are you just gonna hang there all night? Oh, come on, swing down, champion. It's not too far from champion. Amy, you're lost, don't be stupid. I'm not, it's just this guy. Simon, it's not fair. Of course it is. One thing the game is, is fair. You know the rules. Maybe next time. No maybes. out who hasn't kept up with their home reading. Last time you said searching, miss, we all got lost. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, this time you'll know better. OK, remember, this assignment's due next Thursday morning. 500 words, 500. please. Oh, yeah. OK, OK. Stomach rules. Uh, Peter, can you stay behind, please? Peter? Yeah, yeah sure, miss, yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's nothing. It's cool. Yeah, it was a good touch. Clean coup. I don't think Pete will give anything away. Well, it looks like he gave away all his soap. We're using some sort of new dye you haven't told us about yet. Oh, what? I give myself another unfair advantage over you guys. <laughs> Come on. There he is. He didn't crack. Yeah, just as well. Yeah. Come on, don't start on that. It's a game that counts. Let's go, Henry. We've got work to do. Thanks, Simon. No, thank you. Yeah, we'll see you later. Your special activity students are falling asleep in my class. What's that got to do with me? Your karate classes begin at 5 a.m. How can a student be alert all day after starting that early? It's discipline. If that could sharpen them up for the rest of their studies. That's not how it seems to me. Is that a sharpening up your teaching? Now, hang No, on. you hang on. I don't get complaints from anyone else. What's your problem, Spain? Disciplined. They're exhausted. Steve, this isn't the army. We are not fighting a war. Steve, this is serious to me. I thought after everything that we That's we... finished with. Over and done. We agreed, remember, to behave as two professionals with a serious job, nothing more. That's right. We agreed. So now, teacher to teacher, on a totally professional basis, I want you to rethink your martial arts student schedule. No. Oh, that's really professional, isn't it? Not even to discuss it. I'm committed to the classes as they stand. So are my students. They're also my students. Some of your best ones, no doubt. Yes, but they Exactly. Have... The determination, the discipline they take on in my classes has benefits in everything else they do. I specialise in maximising individuals' potential. You know that. You and your friends. You still think we're living in a world where fighting to win is the only answer. Always having to be the best, no matter what. Well, the war is over. No one in that picture is still alive.
Great. A little wobbly at the top. Yeah, I felt it, but I can get that out. I know it. Good start. Again? No, leave it. Better get in here. Because it's already up there. See, it's more important that you feel you can do it. Right here in your heart and the blood. Rather than just knowing you can. Feel the memory. Okay? Yeah. So what's next? Floor work, then we'll get rid of the wobbles. Dunk. Let's see what. I'll sort it out. You get on with the floor work, eh? Danke. What do you want? Good. Oh, picked it up, huh? <laughs> You're very funny. <laughs> what do you reckon Spain wanted from Pete today? What do they all want? More homework. <laughs> now, she told me once I'm in danger of falling behind. I reckon she's got the hots for you. What? Spain? Yeah. She wants your body. Don't ask me why, though. Oh, I don't know. No. No, it can't be your body. I mean, let's face it, she could have anyone she wanted. Look, she'd have to be 30. Yeah. She's pretty, don't you think? Pretty? You've got some competition there. Oh, Steve. Yeah. Almost a champion. Better watch myself. Yeah, you better watch that, too. No such thing as a champion on his own. He's got to be a loser. Could be you one day, mate. Yes, sir. What did Duncan want? Eh? Hey? Guy Duncan at the door. No, oh, no, I think he lost his way. Why don't you and Amy work on something together? What? Yeah, a routine. You can coach each other. Well, I suppose. Amy? The bird's flown. Gotta be quick. <laughs> <laughs> she loads here. Six shots. But she can take 20 if you like. The gun can handle it. But what's it hit like? I mean, is it gonna kill anyone or what? Oh, well... Oh, no, it's safe. Henry and I put it through a trial. Yeah, it's safe, all right. But it gives you a hell of a fright. And that's just fine. Pathetic, isn't it? All he wants to do is play cowboys and Indians like a kid with a water pistol. Yeah, keep it all long distance. Or do it on computer and take turns to be the champion. Steve said something funny today. He reckons you and I should get together. For some training. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, he told me. The problem is I have too much trouble slowing down for you to catch up. <laughs> I, uh, hear you're working on a new deep kumo. Hmm. Maybe. You gonna tell me or what? Mm, you just have to wait and see. I will be this close when I use it, but you won't even see me. So, two, three, four, the London Coach. Limited vehicles with excess passes only. No pedestrians allowed. Finish your homework, would you, Brian? Yeah, come on, help me out. I've still got a job to do tonight.
The only way to start a challenge. Yep. And dead on time. Midnight. With 30 minutes to make sanctuary. One of Simon's traps? Yep, the run's all yours if you can make it. You've only got five minutes left. I'll make it. Sleep tight. Good luck. You'll need it.
extracurricular activity, huh? Like a bit of young flesh, huh? in one day. You're going to have to start looking after yourself a lot better. I won't always be around you, though. What's up? Spain's got Brian. Yeah? Why? He's looked like death warmed up all morning. And maybe with good reason. Listen, perhaps the game's getting all a little bit too serious. I mean, no one's meant to die. Die? Brian almost died. Well, what do you mean? Listen, look, it's nothing. Robbie marked him last night and Spain's suspicious. Suspicious? He's like a bloodhound. What is deep cool? Shit. That's not exactly the answer I was after. Deep cool. It's nothing. It's a badge. You think you'll spill? It doesn't matter. It's got nothing to do with the school. What about your schoolwork? I'm doing okay. Sure. And what about the others? You guys can't stay out every night after midnight playing kids' games? We don't. It's not every night. How many of you that play this game also go to karate classes? Hi. Has anyone seen Robbie? Beck's looking for him in the gym. Yeah, he's inside with Spain. What for? I don't know. Maybe Brian spilled his guts. Got a little bit hairy last night. Didn't you see Brian's face? Yeah. Had Robbie's deep coup mark on it, sir. What's it got to do with Spain? It's got everything to do with me. I work hard to get all you guys through, not just the smart ones who can coast yeah, it. Yeah, but... No buts, Robbie! Your grades are starting to suffer. Before this, I couldn't work out why. With this game of yours at night, karate classes in the morning, no wonder you're not coping. What do you mean, not coping? It's like a war game, isn't it? Kill or be killed. No one gets killed. No. You mark them with die, with your special symbol. Yeah. It's harmless. It's childish and dangerous. Miss Spain, you don't understand. The game's important to us. It's... It's a test. What's Steve Beck got to do with this? Nothing. He doesn't know anything about it. Oh, come on, Robbie. This is just like Steve. Mr Beck has nothing to do with it. No. I'm sure he hasn't. So what did she say? Anyone she sees marks or she knows plays a game against less than a B in her class, she'll blow the whistle on us. She can't do that. She can. It might stop the game, but it won't help. Her. That's smart. So we'll have to get B grades or more. Hey, maybe we should get out now, Pete. What? Very funny. So Spain plays our game her way. Hey, maybe we should invite her to play. Oh, yeah, why not let everyone in? Or maybe nobody. What? I mean, perhaps we should cancel game challenges just for a while. Spain's not a problem, Henry. Yeah, but maybe the game is. Brian almost got killed last night. Oh, he's always complaining about something. Well, go on, say it. I should have let him through, let him make sanctuary. Robbie. Well, I didn't. I stopped him. That's what the rules say. If I get deep coup, I can cut him off any time during the game's run. It's the defending champion's right. I'm the champion, aren't I? As long as I stop all of you. Isn't that the game? Yes, but look, Brian almost... Brian this, Brian that. He's not dead, is he? Well, is he? No. 
But it was awfully close, Robbie. Awfully close. Look, no one gets her playing a game. What's wrong with you guys? We all take chances when we're in there. We know what we're doing. We'll take risks to win. But not dangerous chances like that. No one's dead. No one's dying. Now, you, you want to play for real or not? Robbie, nobody's accusing. No! I played it straight and I won. Come on, mate, tog up. Gotta get your championship perfect. It's not a game, you know. You okay, Robbie? Yeah, fine. Well, whatever it is, it's important not to let it get you down. Never stop. Never pull back. Because there's always someone out there who wants what you've got. And if they ever think that you're weakened, that's when they'll strike. Just to see a winner drag down. You surprised me. Miss Spain, it's got nothing to do with you. I'm sorry, Amy, I don't understand. Why can't you just leave us alone? You're older than us, you can do whatever you want. Amy, I'm sorry. What is it that I can do that you can't? Go anywhere, anytime. You can take him. Take who? Look, just leave us to ourselves. It's not fair if we can't have something of our own. Hey, there was a woman here last night for you. A woman? Yeah, good looking. 30 maybe, maybe older. Good looking. She seemed to know Guy Duncan too. Yeah, well she couldn't have wanted me. Duncan and I don't have the same friends. They didn't exactly look like friends, but he knew. I don't know. Look, next time she's in here, I'll point her out to you, okay? At least 30, my boy, but very tasty. Sorry about today, but they're all being so negative. I didn't get a chance to tell you, but I've done the same thing. Brian? Thanks. Those moves that you were doing, do you think you could show me? Sure. I'll be your mirror. You have to shut your eyes. If you don't want to do it right. Sorry. It's not a game, it's a discipline. Steve says... Oh, Steve again. Don't you ever listen to anyone else? 
I mean, tell me what I'm trying to show you. If you want to learn anything and get it right, you can't afford to lose concentration. Oh, right. So when Steve says jump, you say how high. You're very funny. <laughs> G'day, Louie. Coke, thanks. Coke it is. Nothing to eat. Raw fish. Japanese banquet. No <laughs> banquet? You want to make me a sumo wrestler? It's karate, Louie. Karate. Hey, Robbie, you made it. This is still the only game in town. But I'm sorry about today. Hey, forget it. Yeah, but I've been thinking. What's up, son? Oh, hello, Robbie. Oh, everybody wants to be in the championship run. How many runners so far? Too many. Oh, it's an open meet, isn't it? All come as well? Yeah, I know that, but... Well, you've been champion. Too long. Yeah. Well, I'm giving it up. What? what? You mean you're not going to play it? Hey! I'm not giving up the game. I'm giving up the championship, I'm not friends. Ah, well. So nothing changes, does it? That's right. I'll get the championship right back. Right. So as of tonight, the game is no champion. That's right. Woo! Hey! What? Having a party and no one told me. I love parties. It's not a party, Guy. It's a club meeting, members only. Yeah? Well, maybe you just got yourself a new member. I like the atmosphere. Membership's closed. Hey, the karate killer. Why don't you go and break a few tiles with your head? This is a club meet. Now, we've got business to attend here. You know, I got business too, roller coaster man. I got business with Miss Amy. With me? What do you want with me? Come and have a drink with me. I'll take you for a smoke later. I got some good stuff. Blow your head off. No, I don't think so. Duncan, out. I'm not talking to you, killer. Maybe something sweeter. Something so you'll fly through the air with the greatest of ease. I've been watching you in the gym. Nice legs. Great ass. Yeah, come on, killer. Come on. Cool it, Robbie. That's just what he wants. You yeah, cool it, Robbie. You don't watch out, I'll rearrange your pretty face. You try. Any time. Yeah? Yeah. When you least expect it, killer. Look, this is a private club meeting. Now, please leave. Private club. Kids games. Why don't you people try playing like grown-ups? Especially you, Miss Amy. Yeah, but that's not what karate's about, is it? I can look after myself. I don't need your help. OK, sorry. The guy's a gorilla. Yeah, well, good, but I'll do my own fighting, thank you. Right. Message understood. Keep my distance. Final details. Open championship meet. The game. Wednesday the 18th, starting time midnight. All contestants are to enter from southern or western boundaries only. Oh, and there's no time limit, OK? And the first contestant who reaches Sanctuary will be declared our new champion. Oh, and applications close tomorrow night. So far... Ooh, 15 runners. It's gonna get crowded in there. Mm. There's only one way to win. Being the best. Oh, and you better watch out too. Henry and I have excelled ourselves, so if you're trapped, you're out. If you win, the champion. Straighten your gear, you're late. Mr. Beck. Leave my dojo. Mr. 
safe. Nice going. <sighs> you almost had me a few times there. You didn't follow through. Well, it's only practice. Hey, nothing's only practice, OK? Right. We've got to talk. The championship? The championship, Wednesday night. You ready? Yeah. But it's a big deal. Yeah, don't worry, I've been to hundreds. But all those other hey, guys... Hey, you're a champion, aren't you? My student. Yeah. No more buts. There'll be karate teachers and their students from all over. It's the number one kickbox meet of the year, entry by invitation only. On television right around the country. We'll do OK. Yeah, we'll do great. Right, winners, OK? OK. Good. <laughs> same time you get them. Your father would have been very proud of you. The weather here is dreadful, as always. You won't be surprised to hear that, I suppose. There's nothing worse than dreadful weather to lower my spirits. Well, I wouldn't be your mother if I didn't have some of that contrary nature, I suppose. People drive past and they can't believe I'm walking in the rain. Hardly anyone walks in the these days. Stay at home. Let the world visit you. Rise to the stars. Still, we've got a lot to thank you for. I couldn't be here talking to you like this, or see you half as often if it wasn't for this thing. Everything goes the same as it was. Steve! Well, kid, it's finally happened. I met the better man than I am, which makes him a better man than you. I'm never too sure. It's over, kid, over. You're not the champion anymore. Steve, what are you talking about? Here he is, the new champ. Better than the rest of us all put together. Hey, killer, you want to party? Let's party. Yeah, let's party. A better man on you, Robbie. <laughs> Takes all the prizes. The champion. Your father would have been very proud of you. I told you I could have been the same. Loosen up, Robbie. The guy's got some really good stuff. We'll get out of it. 
right up to the Vic of the Spoils Killer. Nice legs, ass. Wanna go next? We mothers do right. Robbie, what did I tell you? Guy always the best. The best deal in town. You wanna go next, Robbie? <laughs> no, <it's cool. laughs> Robbie, what's wrong? What are you doing here? Can I come in? Come in. You live here alone. I mean, your parents. Uh... Dad's dead. Mum's back in London. On holidays? I could say that. I wanted to talk to you. Well, you're here. Drink? No, I... Uh... Robbie, how tied up with Steve Beck are you? He's my teacher, like you. Not quite like me. Look, I told you, Steve doesn't know anything about the game or nothing like that. What's it to you, anyway? All his students. All of you. There's something like a threat. What's he telling you, teaching you? Survival. Winning. What's he told you about his past? His past? You make him sound like a criminal. He was involved with the military, with counterintelligence. He was a soldier. What do you want from me, Miss Spade? I want you to take a lot less notice of what Steve Beck fills your head with. School work comes first. A lot of students follow your example, Mr. Mason, and I want you to set the right one. Stupid. Stupid. I can't do this. Why is it so hot? You know, you're always complaining. Last week it was too cold. That's what I mean, hot. You're not normal. Look at them. The game master and his pupils. Anytime we get close, he just changes the rules. You're still worrying about the other night with Brian, aren't you? You shouldn't. Being the champion is far too important just to let go. Yeah, but that's over. There is no champion. Oh, come on. Look. I hate having to admit this, but, uh... Well, you've always had that edge. Amy, look, I'm sorry. What are you talking about? You look down. It's nothing. The sun's making me sleepy. Yeah, well... If you want to talk about anything, then... It's got nothing to do with Miss Spain, has it? You wouldn't have, you know. Stop Brian like I did. I could have done it anywhere. I had him marked all the way. But I had to do it at Sanctuary just to rub it in. Ten minutes until resumption. You guys have really cooked it up, haven't you? What? You and Henry, smiling like a couple of little kids. I bet that championship course has got more traps in it than I don't know what. Hey, all you have to do is play the game. That's right, isn't it, Robbie? Yeah. Just play by the rules. The game will look after you. Still, with you two, I'm going in expecting trouble. <laughs> hey, that's what I like to hear. You want to get into some trouble with me? Duncan! 
piss off. I'm not talking to you, killer. Hey, the karate killer, right? Chop, chop! The killer. Have you got nothing better to do? No, nothing better than you, baby. Not around this dump, anyway. You're not welcome, Duncan. Take a walk. You gonna make me? Hey, hey, Dunk. Uh, maybe. Uh... Yeah, listen, killer. Why don't we talk about it? <laughs> yeah, come on, killer. I'll go for it. Killer? Huh? Hey, no, killer, huh? hey? Leave him alone. <laughs> Tell me about it. Nothing to tell. I slipped. That's not what we're talking about, is it? I slipped. Going too fast. Why? Why what? Why are we going too fast? What did Duncan want? Who? Guy Duncan. He couldn't have got lost twice. Oh, He's he... an animal, always throwing his weight around the school, picking fights. Yeah, well, he must be running scared. What? He wanted me to show him some karate, killer blows. Killer blows? Yeah. I thought he wanted to join the class. But when I got him to the office, he said all he wanted was a few good chops. You're joking. No, so I told him. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get it right this time? Steve. I fought Duncan today. He pushed me, I don't know. I broke every rule you ever taught me about avoiding conflict. I was angry. I wanted to hurt him. Kill him. He's scum, isn't he? Had it coming. Waste of time, guys like that. Oh, come on. Might be good. Have another go. You're fighting tonight as well, aren't you? Yeah, Steve too. Well, what about the game? It doesn't start till midnight. You know what I mean. It's not fair. You'll be tired. Don't worry. I'll still make it. The championship's safe. That's not what I meant. I'll show you. You'd have got a big kick out of that, wouldn't you? Watching your boyfriend put the boot in? No. Of course I didn't. Yeah, all of you. And your boyfriend's big hero, Mr. Steve Beck. Robbie's not my boyfriend. Yeah, Robbie. Karate killer Mason. Stick around, you'll see. When I blow the whistle, he'll jump just like everyone else. You, Mason, Beck, jump, and you'll all do it. It, streets are dry. Well, go to some other streets. How far do you think this is going to get me? I'll make a fool of myself at the championship tonight. I don't care about. <laughs> 
bring it to me tonight. Never say anything about this. I'll kill you. You know something about me very few people know. It's not important because you understand, don't you? But if you ever say anything about this to anyone, I'll kill you. But first I will destroy the thing you most love in this world. Do you know what that is? No. Not many people do until it's been taken away from you. Something different for everyone. But when it's gone, you'll know then that you're as good as dead. Well, that's it, little girl. School's over. Look. Please. It won't take long. I admit it. I've been giving you a hard time lately. Okay, I'm sorry. But I can't bear to see someone be turned bad. Have their lives wasted. Steve, Mr. Beck and I, we were lovers. Not for long. No one guessed and it's over. It finished when I realised I didn't love Steve. I was terrified of him. Miss Spain, what's this got to do with me? Steve's sick, Robbie. Not in any way you can see. It's just his apparent strengths, his skills, his martial arts. They've become his weaknesses. He's let being the best take him over until he can't bear to be anything less. And what's wrong with that? Don't you see? That makes him hard, too hard, unforgiving. What are you talking about? Steve's great. We was kidding around together. He's punishing himself for something. For being the only one left alive when the others... He won't let himself be gentle anymore. Steve's not bad. I'm not bad. Being the best, number one, isn't always the answer. We all need to be gentle with each other sometimes, Robbie.
nasty taste to it, hasn't it? What's this shit? Talcum powder. Just so you get used to going without your own particular poison. The deal's not good enough, Mr. Beck. You want more of the real thing. I want more money. Lots more. That'd be ridiculous. What's your job worth, Beck? 75, 80 grand a year? I want some. You're crazy. Why should I give a you... A teacher shooting drugs like Hollywood. Every day, breakfast, lunch, dinner. What would your chop-chop students think if they knew you weren't so clean? They knew you'd use anything to get yourself up. Anything to look good. Guess how much time and effort it takes to keep you supplied. I couldn't care less. I don't need you. You need the stuff, right? Don't want to end up like all your soldier boyfriends. Like all your dead hero mates, do you? Is this your special formula, Mr. Beck? Is this how come you made it and all your mates are dead? I make the running Beck. You dance to my beat, my shots. You are nothing. Mason, we're on. Where you been hiding us up there? Come on, Beck's not here yet. It's time for our grade. Kickboxing Championship. There have been many exciting bouts and some very close decisions. However, the two fighters who will contest the first bout at sixth grade level are worthy state title holders, as both have won their respective bouts with awesome power and truly Being amazing Being the best, connect. number one, isn't always the answer to everything. We all need to be gentle with each other sometimes, we? Really. Don't lose your gentleness, Robbie. Don't throw it away. And now, here is the winner of the fifth grade level, Robbie Mason. A young man with great potential. He's easily won his way through to sixth grade level. Good stuff, kid. Let's give him a good show, eh? You killed him. That last guy, yeah. Lousy technique. Duncan. Guy Duncan. You killed him. What are you talking about? Steve, I saw you. I saw you. Why? The 
two skilled combatants size each other up and the bout begins. There's only one way out of here, kid. Why? Shut up about that. You don't know anything about that. Steve, I can help. Don't bother. Don't try. I don't want anything from anyone. Aware at home that the two opponents are master and pupil. Steve Beck also being the current state title holder. This has not deterred Beck from unleashing a devastating display. Beck's not pulling any punches. I thought you weren't meant to touch each other. Oh, that's only in practice. This is a real thing, though. I mean, don't you think it looks too real? I mean, I know that it's a championship. Now that Robbie sure can fight. Maybe I'll make something special. Call it after him. anything? You went to school with him, didn't you? I've got a report here that says you went to school with him. You're listening to me? You all right, son? Fair fight. What about the car? I know who was driving, Robbie. You don't know anything about anything. I've got to go. Why was Steve trying to kill you? He wasn't. Where'd you put my bag? Sit down, Robbie. I don't know what happened tonight, what really happened, but you can't leave it any longer. We'll go to the police right away. No. I've got to defend the championship tonight. Guy Duncan's dead. Are you serious? You put a kid's game in front of a human life. Duncan's dead. He was scum. He had it coming. I haven't got the time now. I've got to go. You stay right there. I'll 
Call them, get them around here. Hello, police? Yes, an emergency. Clouds. Above clouds. And hurry. Hasn't worn him out. No, he's the best champion we've had since you retired. Yeah, well, the game's always changing. Not sure even I'd want to take him on these days. All right, well, everyone's in. You can relax. Robbie, are you okay? What happened? Nothing. What's wrong? I just wanted to see if you're all right. Okay. Well, I'll see you in there. It's Bex's car. What's he doing here? I don't know. Who knows? Maybe he wants to play. What's he doing? Just sitting there. He's got anything to do with this. You're just gonna have to go in and get him out. He's gonna ruin the championship. I don't worry.
Henry. Shoot. Robbie. It's got to be after Robbie. Warn everyone. He's serious. Why? Look, I'll go back in, spread the word. You guys call the cops. No. They'll close down the game. Simon, Max trying to kill somebody. Let's go in and get everyone out. Sai, they can't lose the game. Steve? After Robbie, he needs our help. Let's go. Level seven, we're supposed to meet level seven. Okay, let's go. Beck's gone berserk. We've got to find Robbie. Come on! in there after Robbie, isn't he? Someone get that ambulance over here quick. OK, OK, Miss Spain, we'll look after this now. Get a doctor over here on the double! Simon, how long have they been in there for? About half an hour. 27 minutes ago. On. The boy will be dead by then. Miss Spain, you tell me. Where the hell do we start? All right, you men, stay close till we get some light in this place. Steve, I can help. It was an accident.
Steve, don't. Get out, we'll be hurt. No, stop. Stay back. might have killed her.
thief. We can beat this. Not this time. Steve! No! Get him down. What are you waiting for? Get him down! controversy over just who did write Shakespeare's plays has been going on since halfway through his life. Now, maybe we can put this down to contemporary jealousy. But later, in the centuries that followed, whole schools of opinion sprang up to support rival claims. Not many of which made any sense. But the strongest identified Francis Bacon, who also lived in the reign of Elizabeth I, as Shakespeare's <laughs> ghost writer. Schoolmates after school. The latest scientific I suppose Robbie's still watching it. Based on computer-generated facsimile analysis of the play's original manuscript. <laughs> <laughs> 